we just announced the addition of two-factor authentication as a part of the AppRite 1.5 release. This means that in addition to your first factor of authentication, you can now require a second factor of authentication as an added layer of security. So for your second factor, you can now use your phone, email, or a TOTP authenticator app to generate a one-time code, which you'll need to complete the authentication process. To use two-factor authentication, the first step would be for a user to enable it on their end. This can be done with the update MFA method and by passing in the value of true. You'll also need to make sure you have at least one of the three available factors verified. One way to do this is just to manually go into the console, select the user that you want to test with and verify their phone, email or both. Let's take a look at the current sign in flow before we begin implementing two factor authentication. Typically, a user would sign in with something like an email and password and would be authenticated right away. However, with two-factor authentication enabled, we'll now get an exception which will tell us that more factors are required in order for us to proceed with authenticating the user. When we get this exception, we can proceed to the next step, which is to check the authentication factors this user has verified and can use, and we can do that with the list factors method. List factors just shows us all the second factor options and which one this user has verified. So now, using the available factors, we can create a challenge which we'll need to solve in order to authenticate our user. Depending on the method you use, you'll receive a one-time code via phone, email, or in your authenticator app. And once you get this code, you can proceed with the final step by completing the challenge with the code you received and the challenge ID. And just like that, you're authenticated. Okay, so that does it for our introduction to two-factor authentication. Now, before you go, make sure you subscribe to the AppRite YouTube channel because we're gonna be putting out a lot more videos on this topic. We'll do full demos, code along tutorials where we'll see this all be implemented. So if you don't wanna miss that, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.